And the latest one was the Nicoya one in, in uh, uh, Costa Rica. And I read that they are finding another one in Costa Rica. Anybody know the 51? Because it is open here. So we will bring news for that uh, next time. Okay, let's uh, go to this. Uh, it, it all started in this article here. I put, uh, I put a, a two pictures just to, <laughs> to show you. Uh, I, I kept asking people in the audience if they can do this. And uh, I got a small kid that she said, he said he could. But uh, you don't need to worry about that. But this was in Okinawa, Japan. And this was in November 2005. The, the main article published by Dan Butner in the National Geographic magazine that reported the three uh, blue zones at that time, that was Okinawa, um, Sardinia, and then Loma Linda. And, and we will review a little bit on that. This is the guy. And then later on, he published this book, The Blue Zone, and that in this book, we have the four blue zones reported because then he found uh, the one in, in Costa Rica. We will concentrate more on the Costa Rican one. This is uh, in Italy. And this lady has one or seven years old, so his wife is not uh, upset with this kiss, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I will not spend much time on that. Just to say that uh, the, in Sardinia they have uh, as many old and, and as many men and women uh, with long age, um, compared to here that we have more um, women uh, than men, four per one in the United States. So this is one of the Blue Zone guys there, and he was seven years old, still taking care of the ship, the ships, and he used to live uh, a whole night, sleep a whole night with, the, with her uh, flock there in the mountains. And uh, one important thing in the uh, Italian Blue Zone is the family circle. You have in this table daughter, mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother sit in the same place, so family was important for them. And uh, this is a, a great-granddaughter and a great-grandmother. And uh, unfortunately, McDonald's was uh, invading that Blue Zone also. So one of the concepts that, that, that we are trying to maintain here in Loma Linda is the idea that uh, the blue zones are disappearing. Because this same granddaughter here was uh, eating french fries and was not doing the same diet that their ancest her ancestor or her great-grandmother was doing. So if you go to Okinawa, you have uh, 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 also a blue zone and the concept of health is uh, exercise mostly. And they are all into nature, into diet, and uh, they have their own garden, they eat seafood. Um, it's interesting that all of these Luzon, they are based on plant diets. And they have a little bit of meat, but it's very minimal. Even the sardines, the sardines, they don't eat, uh, they don't eat fish. We, we would say, well, fish is good. Everybody is in the movement with fish. Sardines don't eat fish because it's not in the coast, it's in the middle of the island. The, the ones in, in, uh, in uh, Okinawa, of course, they eat fish, but it's not much. They have their own gardens. They cultivate our, our, uh, their own uh, vegetables there. And then they have a very interesting network where uh, old guys uh, take care of older guys. You, you see guys with, uh, sometimes we, one guy with 100 years old is taking care of one with 90 years old, so 90 years old, so it's, it's interesting. But the sign of the beast is coming there. <laughs> 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 and so that's, uh, that's the situation that we are, we are facing here, and, and we are facing everywhere else. And, and that's why, fortunately, this uh, create a little bit of fuss in the, in the country. We, our group were interviewed by the LA Times. The New York Times interviewed Dr. Wayne Dysinger uh, two days ago about this situation, that uh, we, are, we are in a war against the, 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 the big uh, business or, or big food business. And, and that's what is happening in Okinawa. If you check Okinawa now, it's the highest they have the highest rate of uh, childhood obesity in all Japan. Uh, my goodness, this should be the blue zone. And so, because they are not following anymore the blue zone foods, 
that, that's what is happening. And we don't want this to happen in Loma Linda. It would be a shame on us. Come on. Anyways, look at what has happened there. All American food. This is the, the type of restaurant that are coming to the city. They used to have a staple food in their diet, that is the purple sweet potato. What is the staple food of the blue zone now? White rice. Mm. So you compare. Uh, purple sweet potato is at the same level of blueberries in terms of antioxidants. Rice is not, white rice is not in the list, even in the list of, uh, of because they don't have anything. So white rice, in my opinion, is in the same category of uh, white sugar, okay? So white rice, white sugar, and white uh, flour should be something that we should stay out of our house. And so we came to Loma Linda, and so Loma Linda, you know a lot of that, uh, a lot about that. Uh, this is when she does, she is already dead, but she was, I, I believe, the 12 or 15 oldest people in the world when she was alive. And uh, I like this picture. Uh, uh, it was interesting that uh, she was one day uh, in the hospital, and then uh, they entered in the hospital, they didn't know who, uh, who was she, and she, they asked her the, for the age, and then she put an age there, the, whatever it is she put in the ear, and then they call her for the pediatrics department. <laughs> <laughs> because she, they thought that she was 12 years old. <laughs> and then when she uh, uh, stood up there, they said, well, you are in the wrong uh, uh, department here. The interesting part that I like in this picture is that when you are old like that, you don't uh, uh, worry much about jewelry, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Dr. Warren uh, is the surgeon. He works until 95 years old and as a, a cardiac surgeon. And uh, he, he came here to our blue zone. Um, we interviewed here a, a couple of months ago and we have the whole group here. Uh, with him. Some of you are here that are here now. I was looking for a picture with you, Mitch, and I don't oh, find that one. Maybe you took the picture. Yeah, I took the picture. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have another uh, uh, one from Cher. Uh, this guy, I don't know about him, but uh, I, I don't know if he's uh, still alive. Anybody know? I've seen this picture several years ago, so yeah. I kind of doubt it. That I Do Dr. Sure. Warren is 97 now. So, And then Marge. Uh, Marge is the one that uh, we all well as know she died with 104, 105, something like that. I think she, she was 105. 104 was Hulda Cruz. And she has this motto, strangers are friends that I have not met yet. So we like this, uh, to be friendly, to be open. <coughs> this is a factor of uh, long life. Is she still alive? No, she died uh, last year. Oh. We, we, we interview her in a senior place and we have my students with her one time <coughs> and uh, she was a very pleasure person to be around for sure and if you haven't met her you know she was in the picture she was cold and then we we lent her our lab coat <laughs> in, the, in the place uh, so this is just uh, to summarize what the blue zones have in common they don't smoke they put family first however we can go by the picture don't smoke they do a lot of exercise they have a very important family concept. They have friendly uh, uh, network. They, do, they eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and they eat, uh, they eat uh, whole grains. I have to pass this, but just take a look on these uh, pictures here. Um, the turtle, uh, this is the um, South American turtle lives 193 years. The American turtle, uh, um, tortoise. Uh, 123 years, the parrot uh, 80 years, the elephant 70 years, the camel 50 years, the horse 40 years. So what are, do these animals have in common? Vegetarian. Yeah, so not all of the audience get this, but this <laughs> one is this. Uh, it looks like if you are a vegetarian for 12 to, uh, you have 12 to 50 percent decrease of risk of death for all causes. If you are more than 20 years being vegetarian, so you have 30% in addition to that. And if you are vegetarian for more than, 10, than 30 years as I am, you will never die. 
Well, of course, that's not the reason we, we don't want to brag about, about that because we have other problems. And uh, the air is not uh, uh, pure, the, the foods are not the best ones, and then there is, uh, the water is not, uh, not the best, the sun is killing us also. So there is, there is genetics, there is infection, there is accident. So we, we cannot say that uh, this is the only thing. But there is something on that because what we see, vegetables are very important. If you go by the list of uh, antioxidants that we have in vegetables, you see that uh, uh, there are two categories here. One is the uh, small and dark uh, berries. Uh, prunes are not berries, but they, they can get in this category too. And then uh, you have the kale and the dark uh, color, um, dark green color vegetables. Leaves. So those are the main sources of antioxidants that you have in this list uh, that was uh, by the U.S. Uh, Department of Agriculture Research Service. So it's very, it's very consistent this, uh, that uh, if we have to follow a good diet, we should incorporate more fruits. Fruits are rich in, in antioxidants, but fruits and vegetables, and specifically, specifically berries and dark green leaves. Uh, I will skip that one because we don't have time and then we go to Costa Rica Blue Zone. It's, uh, it's in this uh, peninsula here, they call Nicoya Peninsula, and then um, you see that uh, Nicoya is here. So this is the whole Costa Rica, the peninsula is here, Nicoya is there, and there is a, is a couple of cities around there. Uh, one of them is Nicoya. Um, I have a, a, a video about that and that will be the end of my presentation. Uh, maybe.